some of the stories you think about our stories yeah, yeah. I can remember knocker was telling me when he when he moved to Hull <clears throat> so he, he, he signs at Hull and then one of the sponsors says to him oh, I'll, I'll sort you some fish out bring your car down Anyway, so he says he pulls up, he opens the boat, and they just drop him like half a ton of fish in his boat. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, he's got, he said he's got this like big halibut thing in his boat. He says, and what do I do with that? He says, oh, just strap it on and just take it, mate. He said, you all right? He <laughs> said, it lasted him about two years. He said he was handing it all out to everybody and that. He said, yeah, some of the stories. Like back then, obviously, we're a big drinking culture as well, so they just yeah. used to finish training, and the first thing they did was straight to the pub and that, he said, and... I think in one year that he were there, he said there were 17 players that got divorced <laughs> because <laughs> knock them over there. He said, like, oh, wow. he said it was just it was just crazy. And like I said, I, I just sit down and listen to my dad and, and, and them tell tell the stories. It's it's absolutely unbelievable, some of the stuff. If, today's age, they would be in prison right now. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, the game has changed without a doubt, but I think there's still a few stories knocking about. And uh, it's that time of year, Mad Monday time of year, and... Mad Monday has changed on it, Jonesy, because I reckon three, even three or four mm. years ago, I went on Wakefields, Bradfords, a bit of Leeds, and it was a bit of madness. It was proper crazy. Yeah. And now, what's happened with the new generation? What's the, the day as well when you just used to get in your local, you know what I mean? Yeah. And the, the fans <laughs> used to celebrate weird and, and enjoy a bit weird. And it, it just seems like it's just totally changed now. And I think on, on Old Mad Monday, when I was talking to Esther, there were six of them there. <laughs> I think Daz Clark, they've gone to uh, Benidorm. I yeah. think there's six or seven there. There's a few in Dublin. And it just seems like it's just getting smaller and smaller. But back in the day, if you didn't go, yeah. you were getting dragged. Yeah. And if, I can remember we once had the party bus and there were seven turned up. And uh, it goes into Kirk Eamon Street with the big 50-seater <laughs> party, uh, party bus. And we just honking the horn outside <laughs> and Nemo's on the sofa and we all goes in the house and drags him out <laughs> and all the street comes out and all the kids were on the party bus and we were all steaming and the kids are on the bus papping the horn and it just, you know what I mean that and, and that's that's your, that's your release that's your steam and obviously I know there's a lot going off in the NRL where they're on about yeah, cancelling it cancelling them and <clears throat> it's it's been a tradition for god knows how long but like I said it's we're council estate lads you know what I mean yeah. and we're we, we, we do love a beer and you know when you have a few too many things go too far and you just gotta you just gotta cop it on the chin haven't you <laughs> times have changed up there you mentioned drinking culture there after yeah. training back yeah, in the day yeah. so you just don't do that do they they no. have something to eat they have coffees and then they go home and then the phone i'm not talking about social media in, in terms of getting caught but it, it's always a distraction isn't it yeah, you're, you're yeah. always hearing and seeing what other things are going on yeah. and then that that just separates them and drags them away yeah. it has died down um which is a bit of a shame but mate on uh, what I DJ'd for you, I'm not going to give any details away what happened on Leeds Mad Monday, but one of the young lads, his mum picked him up at 8 o'clock. Yep. Could not believe it. It was a sensible party at my house, that's all. <laughs> Could not. His, his mum picked him up. Where are you off? He went, my mum's here. <laughs> I went, it's Mad Monday. He went, yeah, I know. Yeah. Mum's here now. I've got to go. I'm not going to name names. <laughs> well, PR yeah, Jordan Cox did the same, but he was absolutely obliterated. <laughs> so we had a water gun. And we were filling up like with vodka and that. <laughs> and he would just stood there and we were just firing it into him <laughs> for two hours solid. <laughs> the next thing he had like a, like a baby's outfit on with a dummy and that. <laughs> it would just gone on the gone on the floor. <laughs> we had to ring his mum up and say, You have to come and get your jaw. And she just pulled up in the car and she just bust out into tears. She's going, What are you doing to him? <laughs> and he's just oh, there in a baby costume. And he's just picking him up and his head's down. He's just like spewing him. Oh. <laughs> 